What is going on everyone? I hope you are doing amazing. Today we're going to be talking about something that is found in almost every food product and it's natural flavors. So we're going to discuss three main points. What is it? Where does it come from? And when is it okay to have natural flavors? So let's get right into it. So what is it? In simple terms, natural flavors is a flavor enhancer. It makes food taste better. It's gonna make you keep grabbing for that one more potato chip or one more piece of popcorn or one more cookie because it enhances the flavor of the product. So where does natural flavors come from? Well, it's derived from a fruit, a plant, an herb, a vegetable, eggs, meat, chicken, anything. It can be derived from anything natural and still be called natural flavors. And once they get the natural source of these natural flavors, they can take it to a lab and add up to a hundred chemicals. So the FDA actually permits the use of these synthetic additives such as solvents, preservatives, and emulsifiers. And this is their way of getting around disclosing what's exactly in their ingredients. Because if any of those are in the natural flavors, then they can just say, oh, it's natural flavors. And then we, the consumers, read that and think, oh, it's natural, it's fine. But no, it's just derived from something natural. And then they can add in all of these various uh, additives. And just a side note, natural flavors is actually very similar to something called MSG, monosodium glutamate. So MSG, uh, I'll do a whole other video on that, but MSG sends signals to your brain and convinces you that this food, whatever you're eating, tastes better than it actually does. And natural flavors has actually been shown to have that same effect. So it's really not too different from MSG. Additionally, natural flavors can come from GMO foods such as corn or soy, which brings me to my third point, when is it okay to have natural flavors? You always want to make sure if you are buying natural flavors, it says either non-GMO or organic on the front of the package. The reason is natural flavors used in organic products are held to a much stricter standard. So if something says organic natural flavors, then it's legally not allowed to contain synthetic solvents or artificial preservatives. So when is it okay to have natural flavors? Well, I always suggest avoiding it if possible and if there's an easy alternative. However, if you can't find an alternative to something that has natural flavors, there's two things I want you to look for, which I kind of already hit on. One, is it organic? Because then you know they're not using any of those artificial or synthetic additives and it's non-GMO, so that's very important. So step number one, is it organic? And the second thing I want you to look for is, is it towards the end of the ingredient list? Many of you may not know this, but the ingredient list that you see on the back of packages is in order of density or weight of the specific ingredient. So if it's towards the end of the list, then usually it's going to be not a large amount of that ingredient. So for example, if you see natural flavors like the second ingredient of a product, that most likely means they're using a lot of it and most likely almost coating that food in natural flavors to really enhance that flavor and get you to go back and buy more. So to kind of wrap this whole thing up, natural flavors isn't too different from artificial flavors. They're actually very similar. The only difference is that artificial flavors aren't derived from something natural while natural flavors are. So I hope I hit on all the important points as always, leave a comment if you have a question, DM us on Instagram, we are always more than happy to help. If you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. We got new videos coming every week. Next week, we're gonna do a full video on plant-based and whey protein powders, breaking down a bunch of ingredients. I'm really excited for you guys to see that. Two important links I'm gonna leave in the description. One is our free PDF to top 10 ingredients to avoid at the grocery store. If you haven't already got that, go ahead and get that. It's gonna help you so much when you're navigating the aisles of the grocery store. And the second one is a link to our Amazon store it's basically just a list broken out in different categories of our favorite products so if you can't find them in certain stores then you can order them off Amazon thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you next week